my lovelies, my sweet, sweet humans. I'm starting a new series here. Well, hopefully it'll become a series if you guys like this video. I wanted to talk about inheritance. I want to talk about genetic traits and the cycles of life. I'm not a geneticist. Shocking. I am fascinated by ancestry and the inheritance of phenotypes, which is basically certain physical traits. I love just staring at people. You know, I even look within myself and I look at photos of my grandma and my mom and I see that they have some gamine traits that I received. And then I have like three other siblings and we all look similar, but I think we're all different body types. I just love to objectively categorize and like say, oh yeah, that's exactly from mom, or oh, that's from dad, and oh, that's blended together, and oh, that's like just literally copy pasted from them. Also, I've inherited a lot of emotional traits and trauma, but that's not for this video. But if you are one of those people who are in your family breaking cycles, healing your wounds, I see you, I'm with you, I'm exhausted in the same way that you are, probably. <laughs> I'll chat a bit more about myself in the future as a biracial woman because there seems to be some confusion around how does Kibbe apply to non-European phenotypes or like mixed ethnicity or just non-European ethnicities in general, like does it still apply? I would love to dive into that a little bit more and I feel like that needs its own space to kind of move through gently and kind of soft river through it and not give you just like a bullet point list. One, it's connected to your body, your personal health, your mental health, like all those sorts of things. And it can be triggering to start bringing up some things that maybe they haven't thought of or maybe they don't like to think about but are trying to ease their way into when it comes to their ethnicity and their uh, cultural backgrounds and things like that. So I don't want to like rush into any of that. I don't want to move through it too quickly. So I'm going to give that its own space. This video is another kind of like eye training video, but it's to kind of help see different features and play matching essentially. We're going to look at a celebrity family and see which features they receive from their parents and how that affects their yin yang balance, okay? I think this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna look at the features of the parents and see if they show up exactly the same or if they end up blending together. And we're gonna see how this affects the yin yang balance of the child. So I'm starting with our flamboyant gamine sister, Lily Rose Depp. She's stunning. She's got such a unique look. I don't think, I, I can't think of anybody who looks like her other than like her parents basically and maybe her brother. We're going to look at her parents, Johnny Depp. Ooh, he's dreamy, oh. I feel like that's how I'm supposed to respond to, the, to Johnny Depp. And then Helena Bonham Carter. Just kidding, I'm kidding. Obviously that's not her mom, obviously. Her mother is Vanessa Paradis. Paradis? Remember when I was learning French and I, I was trying to say the R sound all the time? I, I'm not learning French anymore. And that kind of fell by the wayside, but maybe one day I'll try and pick it up again. Just a few stats for you. Lily is a flamboyant mean. She's 5'3". Johnny is theatrical romantic to me. It's harder to type men for me. I haven't really sat and like studied that portion of it, although I know that the Kibbe system can apply to men as well. And then Vanessa is also flamboyant gamine. She's 5'3". And then Johnny Depp, I'm pretty sure, is like 5'9". Some sources say he's 5'10", but I don't buy it. I don't think he's that tall. Let's get into it. I have my notes here, of course. So let's go ahead and look at these features. Now I'm not going to sit here and try and prove whether or not someone is a certain body type. Really what I'm trying to do is just see which features have shown up in Lily. So really simple matching. I'm going to try and delete <laughs> seeing a body type and just see some individual features. I wanted to pull up pictures of all of them kind of in their youth so we could see very specifically like how things played out because obviously as you get older your 
features change a little bit and they're obviously still the same features but the skin around them starts to change hairstyles may change and things like that so I wanted to find something like in their most elastic you know youthful space to compare to Lily so I've got these pictures of young Johnny Depp smoldering got this picture of young Vanessa wow this is pretty interesting to me when I first look at Lily when I look at her eyes I see Johnny's eyes she has like the hugeness of eyes from her mother but I think that the eye shape and color is from Johnny. Next I want to look at the nose. I see some sharpness in Lily's nose that she probably gets from Johnny, but I think the general shape of her nose comes from her mother. Both Johnny and Vanessa have shorter noses, but I really do think that the shape is more similar to Vanessa's. So Johnny's eyes Vanessa's nose. Her lip shape is very similar to her mother's. I would say that those are her mother's lips. I want to look at cheeks. I want to look at some cheekbones. That's a little tricky. So Johnny has these pretty massive cheekbones. They're huge and they're round and I really do see that as a more yin. Lily also has those same huge and round cheekbones, but I think she has a more delicate jaw area, which is more similar to her mother. And so that creates a different shape in this space of her face. But I think that she has Johnny's cheekbones with Vanessa's jawline. Very cool. So you can see that she almost has exact features from her parents. There's not a lot of blending going on. It's kind of like copy pasting. I feel like her body is almost exactly the same as her mother's. Ah, this one. They're posed almost exactly the same way. Oh, and they're almost in the exact same spot as well. So you can really see their proportions are so similar. Lily has a bit of a different shaped face. Wow, there's something so interesting about this now that I'm just like staring at it. Like you can see the hairline that Vanessa has is the same as Lily. Let's look at, I'm sure, I wish I could see Vanessa's shoulders, but you can see that they're kind of the same width as Lily's. The arms end at a similar point. They're both pretty narrow and compact in their frame. They're both the same height as well. They're both expressing their style, I feel like, in a flamboyant gamine way, but it's a different flavor. They have like literally the same hand shape, which gives you a hint that like their bone structure is very similar as well. Something I've noticed on myself is that my hands are the same shape as my mom's, but my bones are longer. I think my mom is soft gamine um, and I'm flamboyant gamine, as you guys know. Uh, my hands are just bigger than hers, but they're the same shape, which is interesting. But it looks like Lily and Vanessa have like the same bodily form in a way. All right, I wanted to look at this one. This photo is very telling of Vanessa's body for me um, because the outfit she's wearing is very, it's pretty much just a sheath, so you can really see her form much more clearly. The camera is kind of angled. But anyway, the point is to look at Lily and look at um, Vanessa. Because I think primarily the aspects that she received from Johnny are in her face, but I feel like her body is primarily similar to her mother's, which I find very interesting because I think that Johnny's body is a bit more wide and a bit more sharp and short. Lily's body, like she has a lot of narrowness to her frame. She's very compact, which is more similar to Vanessa here. There's a very similar shape in the way that her body curves. Hmm. Fascinating, okay. So I think that Lily is practically a doppelganger of her mom. The way that her phenotype shows up is very similar to her mother. She has like more of an allure to her, Lily does. Vanessa has more of like this like sweet kind of charming vibe to her, especially if you like watch any interviews. But Lily seems to have a bit more like matter of fact punchiness to her vibe, but she's still like charming at the same time. Lily kind of gets casted as the angsty teen a lot, and I feel like when you're getting casted as something, it's because you carry some of that within you. <laughs> and so if you look, look at any of her characters that she plays, it's always kind of, she has this nice RBF most of the time, like just like, yeah, we can do whatever we want. Who, who gives an F kind of attitude. I feel like that's a little bit different and that's a little bit more like that subtle sensualness that Johnny Depp has. So 
interesting that the personality that she ended up with is more similar to her father while still being in the frame of her mother and it creates an interesting juxtaposition, I would say. But yeah, I think that's it. I like her style quite a bit. I feel like she makes a few mistakes here and there. Um, by mistakes, I mean she wears some lines that are not native to her and a little bit unflattering. But for the most part, I feel like she knows her body well. I think this is one of my favorite looks of hers. I love this look as well. She just looks really cool. This one is really cool as well. It makes me want to get a bodysuit. I think it's really interesting to observe these traits in people. And my hope in doing this little exercise is to kind of break down the features and see how they manifest within a body and how that affects their yin-yang balance. A lot of times you can look at your parents and see them more objectively. And if you can witness some of their features clearly and then find them within yourself, it might help you see your features a little bit more objectively as well and really help you narrow down what your body type might be. I can look at my nose shape and know that, oh yeah, I got this from my dad. And so I know my dad objectively is a very tall, yang leaning man. And so the copy paste I got, it's not really a copy paste actually. There's some nuance within it, but primarily the bones that I received in my nose are from my dad and his bones and his face are more sharp, more yang, more prominent. And so I can objectively look at my nose and be like, okay, that's probably a more yang leaning nose. I wonder if you guys even found that interesting. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It was kind of a risk making it, I feel like. There are obviously some other families within the Kibbe Verified list with a few people who maybe aren't Kibbe Verified, of course. But yeah, there are people like Lisa Bonet and Zoe Kravitz and Lenny Kravitz. Like that's one of the families that we could analyze. Or maybe we could look at Judy Garland and Liza Minnelli and see the ways that soft gamine gets transferred over to flamboyant gamine, which is very similar to my story too, in the hopes that it'll help you guys sort out your own bodies and see things a little bit more clearly. I think that's really important when it comes to trying to sort out your own body type. I have a little announcement that I'm gonna make right now. <laughs> I'm starting a Patreon. How cool is that? I never thought I would do something like this. And one of the tiers for my Patreon involves, I know, I know, body typing and style consultations. This is nerve wracking, especially since I know that I'm not an expert in this. I know that I'm refining my knowledge, but so many of you have reached out to me and asked me for my insight and for my perspective. And so while I still stand by all of the things that I mentioned in my um, do you need someone to tell you your body type video, I still think that it's a matter of self-discovery, it's a personal journey, I am willing to help you. If you find that that's something that you're interested in, you can go and view my Patreon. If you want to stay there and linger, I'm going to be kind of creating a more intimate community there. So while my personal channel here is more style-focused, kibby-focused, personal style journey related. Patreon is going to start to dive more into my life. And so things that I like to talk about along the lines of mental health, you know, astrology maybe, or, you know, what I like to eat, or my, you know, general domestic living. If you're interested in those sorts of things and wanting to be a part of that community, you can go to patreon.com slash Brandy Matthews. So it'll feel more intimate. It'll feel more like we're buddies, we're friends. At a certain tier, we're doing live chat. I'm gonna do new moon chat. So every single new moon, I wanna go live and just talk to you guys about a topic. At a certain tier, you have access to my direct insight. You can ask me questions about your personal style and how you're developing that. And if you want my advice. And then at the highest tier, of course, that's where you'll find the style consultations and things like that and body typing consultations. I hope you are interested in joining me over on Patreon. Your donations are going to help me be able to create a more precise and refined 
channel. We're going to be able to upgrade equipment and get better sound quality and have more style experiments and more just like interesting things can happen. I think I'll have a vlog up on the feed. Maybe, probably by the time this video is up. So go check it out, go see. See if it feels right for you to support me in that way. I can't wait to really meet you. Obviously there are many ways to connect with me. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, my blog, I'm gonna be posting on there more. Obviously here, so subscribe if you're having fun with me and I will see you very soon. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for you. I cherish all the time that we spend together and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.